Hi, this is Tej from Netbook Choice. We've got hold of the Toshiba NB200 netbook here. Um, it's the one that's been doing the rounds now for the last couple of months. It's, it's actually out in retail at the moment. And uh, it's had largely very positive reviews um, from most of the sites out there. A lot of the plus points being, you know, solid build, uh, good chiclet keyboard, and, uh, you know, very, one of the largest touchpads that you'll find on that book, um, as well as some very good battery life as well. Um, the model that we've got, it does come in a few different SKUs. The particular model that we've got is, uh, what was it? It's the brown model, as you can see there, but it's the Toshiba NB200 10Z. Now, that comes with the N280 processor, um, a larger, higher capacity battery as well as the chiclet keyboard uh, and that brown finish so it's not open so far so we're gonna we're gonna crack this open now and see what's inside I always find these bits a bit fiddly right There we go. So not too much on the uh, on the lid. It's just obviously got the, some of the programs partners that Toshiba have, including Microsoft Office and McAfee Internet Security. So it comes in two parts. This is probably where you've got the accessories. Um, this is the netbook itself. So let's come back to the netbook in a minute and just see what's actually inside the box. So here we are. How does this open? Quite simple. We've got the power brick here. This comes with a, let's see if we can, yeah, power brick. Quite small actually, not as uh, similar size to the ones that you find on the SUS models. Um, UK plug and the usual bits and pieces, warranty book, quick start manual and warranty upgrade. No, no CD in this particular one, um, that's unusual, most of the ones we, uh, un we look at, you normally do find a CD of some kind even though they haven't got any optical drives but here's the main bit that we're looking at here the Toshiba NB200 just take that off it looks like the battery's already attached on this normally you have to attach that separately afterwards There we are. Obviously, has a cover on it. And uh, let's take, let's just have a look at the side here. Let's open it up. Let's take this sleeve off. Protective sleeve. So there you go. It's um, glossy display, as you can see from the top there. You can see a very small um, web camera there, quite a small one, and it probably looks like a, a digital mic next to it. Um, Chiclet keyboard with a reasonably long touchpad there, mouse buttons. Yeah, it seems. Um, yeah, it seems a very solid keyboard. Tiny bit of flex that I can see already, but if we just give you a quick tour, certainly very stylish. Um, certainly looks quite a, a premium model, but you can see on the left side here, you've got the VGA slot, a fan slot there. You've got the audio jacks, kind of accentuated by some some a metal finishing there, which does look rather nice. You've got an Ethernet slot towards the front there, and a USB port. Um, and then on the front, you can just see an SD card slot there. 
you've got all your status lights on the front and on the edge of the, of the netbook you've got two USB ports the power slot and a Kenston lock and then you can see the battery in the back there and how much it sticks out um, doesn't bulge too much out from the bottom actually I mean you can see there um, you know it doesn't stick out too much but it does obviously that's compromised when you're looking at it from from the back there um, if we just have a look at the back I think Toshiba have done quite a good job here because you've obviously got access panels for most things um, you're looking at you can see two separate slots here one for the RAM and uh, one for the hard disk drive but you probably find in one of those is the uh, is the slot for the PCI Express card as well if you just have a quick look at the battery as well you know reasonably lightweight not not too big um, you know this particular one comes with a 63 watt tower I don't know whether you can actually make that out uh, from the camera but yeah you know it's reasonably lightweight um, you know it has a nice finish which matches the rest of the uh, decor on the actual netbook itself and um, yeah seems like a, seems like a Seems certainly it seems like one of the most stylish models we've actually seen here in Netbook Choice. You can see the the brown finish on the front here. It's actually a kind of a, a ribbed finish here. It's, it's all matte, so you're not likely to get you know many fingerprint marks marks on it. Um, it's probably not to everyone's taste the particular colour, but you know we certainly feel that it looks looks quite nice, and it certainly seems to have good build quality. You can see everything kind of fits there, very flush in the case, uh, and even on the front there. So uh, we're going to review this particular model and uh, we'll come back to you with our, our full thoughts um, you know, once we've had a good chance to actually play around and test with it.